I hope everyone can hear me good. I'm trying to get this set up, this live. I'm gonna wait for a couple people to get on here real quick, and uh, I'm gonna get started. Got some information I want to share with you today. So um, I'm just gonna stand here or sit here rather, and wait for a couple people to get on, and then I'll go into detail. If you're joining, go ahead and put down where you're joining from. I'd like to know where you're tuning in from. I'd like to get to know my community a little bit tonight. Thinking about doing more live streams. Uh, maybe I'll start doing them on, I don't know, maybe Thursday evenings, maybe Friday evenings. I might even do a like maybe a Saturday afternoon live stream. Something more consistent, you know, where where people can actually come and know that I'm going to be doing a live stream. If you're joining the live stream tonight, welcome to the channel. Welcome to the video. Go ahead and drop a comment below in the live chat. Let me know where you're tuning in from. I'd like to know you, kind of get to know you, I guess I should say, kind of get to know my community on here. I've got some exciting news uh, to share with you. I'm not exactly sure what the outcome is going to be, but it is something that I'm wanting to share. But I'm going to wait until we have a few people on here tonight uh, tuning in. So let me know where you're tuning in from. Maybe how long you've had diabetes, uh, Dewey Ramsey. Hey, Chad from Somerset, Kentucky. Welcome, man. Good to have you on here tonight. I've got some uh, news to share with you guys an update, uh, from what's going on with my, uh, medication and treatment. So just going to wait here for just a little bit longer until we get a few people on here. So uh, be patient. Hang tight. We're going to get right into this in just a few. Go ahead and hit that share button too so we can get more people on here, if you will. How long have you had diabetes? Drop a comment below. I'd like to know how long you've been on Manjaro if you're on Manjaro or what kind of treatment plan you're on with diabetes. I am actually on, Oz uh, sorry, Trulicity. I was on Ozempic. I'm on, I was on Mount Jaro. I keep wanting to say I'm back on Mount Jaro, but I was on Ozempic. Before that, I was on Victoza. Then I was on Ozempic. And then I was on Mount Jaro, which was the life changer for me. And then I am now on Trulicity, but I do take, uh, for basal insulin at night, I do take uh, Traceba, which works really, really incredibly well for me. So I'm going to be doing a basal insulin comparison before long. Uh, so stay tuned for that. If you are joining the stream tonight, go ahead and drop in the comments below where you're tuning in from. I'd like to get to know my community. Uh, maybe you can say how long you've had diabetes or uh, what kind of uh, medication you're on. I assume you're on Nanjaro, uh, as most of my community is on Nanjaro. Um, so I have some news tonight to share with you all what's possibly going to be happening. So uh, I'd like to know who you are. Drop a comment below where you're tuning in from. And I'm going to share as soon as we get just a few more people on here, I'm going to share some news that I got today. I'm on Nanjaro. Dewey says, been a diabetic for five years, started Nanjaro on September 15th, started weight loss. It was 316 down to 241. Wow, congratulations, man. That is absolutely incredible. Very, very nice. Wow, that is great, man. It feels so good when you lose weight, especially that kind of weight, right? I bet you feel so much better about yourself, confidence. I bet you feel so much confidence knowing that you're actually a step closer to being healthier than you were the day before. I know that was how I was and how I am, but right now with Trulicity, um, I just do not know. Um, guys, I just don't know about Trulicity, guys. I just don't. I've been on it for almost two weeks now, and uh, and it's just not doing very well for me. But I do got some news to share with you guys, so stay tuned, guys. So thankful that you joined. Uh, if you are just jumping on the stream, go ahead and drop a comment below where you're tuning in from and how long you've been a diabetic. I just want to go through the comments and get to know my community. 
I get on here and I make videos, but I'm going to start doing more streams because I want to have more of an interaction time with you guys. Uh, if you have questions to ask me, I'm obviously not a doctor. I don't claim to be a doctor or have all the medical advice. I don't know everything, but what I do know, I can share with you from what I've learned. Uh, I can share my experience with you, my advice, what I've learned. But as I said, disclosure, I am not a doctor. I cannot tell you or make recommendations as far as your medical treatment. But I can tell you this, this letter right here, it might be a game changer for me. And I'm going to share it with you guys in just a few minutes. But right now, as I said, drop a comment below. Let me know where you're tuning in from, how long you've been a diabetic. Maybe you're on Manjaro. I just kind of want to use this time to get to know you. If you have questions for me, drop them in the comments below because I want to help you out. This channel is about helping you out. Uh, I can do many things with my time, but I choose to make videos to help you out. And uh, as I said, I've been through a lot of stuff. I've, I've had really, really bad health over the years and I've had great health. I've been up and down, up and down. I've had a lot of medications that I've seen, that I've heard about, that I know about, that I've tried. This channel, I will help you understand how it affected me. If you have a question, drop a comment below. Tell me where you're tuning in from. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. Uh, I don't want to keep you guys on here all night long because I have respect for your time. I know everybody's busy and I don't want to disrespect you in any way with your time because I know my time's busy. I got three kids and wife, full-time job, ministry, uh, and everything else on top of that in between. Okay, so last night uh, I got a email from my endocrinologist. But if I go back to yesterday afternoon, uh, I will say that I sent an email to my endocrinologist and I basically told her, I said, hey, I said, I've been on Ozempic and it did absolutely nothing for me, which she should have already known this already and I'm sure she did. But I said, I was on Mount Jaro and it completely changed my life. All my years of being a diabetic, I'm talking about 14 years as a type 2 diabetic not one thing ever, 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 when it came to medication, ever did anything for my diabetes. I was on Victoza, which made me sick a lot, but I stayed on it for like three plus years, maybe four years I was on that. Uh, <clears throat> made me sick sometimes in the morning. I would vomit. But I really noticed that uh, it really wasn't doing very much for me over, over the years. Obviously, my A1C was outrageous. It got all the way up to like 11% uh, when, uh, when I finally came to my endocrinologist who I'm with now. She took me off of uh, the Ozempic because I was on Victoza and my doctor had prescribed me, my personal doctor uh, actually prescribed me Ozempic to try. So I was on that for like two months and it didn't absolutely do anything for me. So then this endocrinologist she seen my numbers. She said, I'm going to start you on something that just came out. Everybody's raving about it. It's been out for two weeks. It's called Manjaro. And when I heard that, I thought, wow, this, this sounds pretty cool. You know, I didn't know anything about it. I said, okay, I'll, I'll try the Manjaro. No problem. So she gave me a free sample pack for a month of the 2.5 and I tried it. And as I've said in videos before, it didn't do very much for me with my weight. It, uh, it did start helping my A1C go down because my glucose level started coming down immediately. That's the beautiful, awesome thing about Mount Jaro. If you are on Mount Jaro, tell me one thing that you are so thankful for personally that it's done for you because I would like to hear these awesome, amazing success stories. Yeah, you know, it doesn't have to be, oh, I've lost this much weight. It could be something that is even more, uh, specific than that, what it's actually done for you. What it's done for me is it's helped my sleep get better because I'm not urinating throughout the night. It's helped me um, with my memory because my glucose levels aren't all the way up here all the time and they're more consistent. Uh, it's helped me with a better mood because how many knows on the chat tonight that when you have high blood sugars, your moods can really suck big time. You can be real moody, Mood swings like this. Well, that was me. Maybe not for you. Sorry, I think I just hit the microphone. Maybe not for you, but it was for me. Real moody. 
uh, and obviously the, the, the thought in the back of your head, for me, I had this thought in the back of my head that I'm not going to live past my 40s. I don't know why I've always thought that because I guess for the last 14 years, my blood sugars have been just horrible. Uh, always worried that when I go to the doctor, that when they do the back of the eye check, you know, your retina eye check as a diabetic, they're going to tell me you have bad, bad blood vessels breaking and bursting. And, you know, I think the last time I went, they told me that maybe it was the time before that, that uh, it's very slowly happening. So, but I'm sure it's gotten better since I've been on Mount Jaro because my blood sugars have been better. So anyways, guys. I said all that, man, I'm jumping. I'm just chasing rabbits tonight. I'm so sorry. This is the guy that said, I'm trying to save you time and not disrespect your time. And here I go running into tangents and talking. So anyways, I sent that email to my, I sent that email to my uh, endocrinologist and I said, you need, I need you to be my advocate and fight for me. I need you to fight for me to get back on Mount Jaro. Why? Because when I came off Mount Jaro, my blood sugars have went all the way up into 300s. It's not working for me. My Trulicity sucks. It's not working, guys. So, and I hope if, if you ever get on Trulicity, I hope it does work for you. But uh, I'm telling you guys, it seems like almost every GLP-1 is the same. The game changer is that GIP ingredient that's in it, that dual acting. That is the fire. I'm telling you, that's what I believe. And I'm excited to see what's going to come out next from Lily. Because apparently they're in that, uh, you know, that phase where they're working on something new. Uh, it's got the triple, I think. From, I don't know the whole details, but I know that they got some great stuff coming. But anyway, so I told her, I need you to fight for me. I need you to be my advocate. I need you to help me get back on Manjaro because I know that my blood sugars are not getting better. It's, it's descending. It's not ascending. It's not getting better. It's getting worse. So with that said... Uh, she emailed me last night and she told me that I sent an, uh, I sent an email to the insurance company. So, um, from the denial. So I'm going to read the letter to you tonight that, uh, she wrote and it's right here. And, uh, I'm saying this because one of you guys, or most of you guys that have insurance like mine, that just has a sucky insurance company, which is every one of you guys probably have one that does not want to cover Mount Jaro and they want to put you on this deal where you need to fell on this or you need to fell on this. So Zimpic and Trilicity, those are the ones they want you to mostly fell on because they're two GLP ones. By the way, they told me when I called the insurance company, uh, well, you could try, uh, have you tried Metformin? Metformin is, is like Mount Jaro. No, metformin is not like Manjaro. I've been on metformin for 14 years and, you know, metformin might help me a little bit, but man, it, it sure doesn't do a whole lot for me. So anyways, this is what she said back. She said, Mr. Boney has type two diabetes. Obviously he has used Ozempic one milligram weekly, April 25th, 2022 through June 24th, 2022. And it failed to adequately control A1C as evidenced by A1C 10.1%. At that time, June 24, 22, he started Manjaro weekly, titrating every four weeks when his last A1C was 5.3% in October 2022. He received Manjaro through manufacturer savings cards during that time. We received a denial letter for Manjaro from you on January 21st, 2023, which states he must try and fail or have adverse reaction to all formulary drugs, which include Ozempic and Trulicity. Trulicity was described or prescribed, sorry, and he started taking February 16, 2023, after receiving prior authoriz authorization for it. His glucose time and target on the continuous glucose monitor has increased for an average of 102 milligrams and 82% time in range of 70 to 180, degree, uh, 180 milligrams to this week. While taking Trulicity 3 milligrams weekly, 
average glucose is 188. So you can see there's a big difference already going from 102 to 188. And the time in range was 45%. So we went from 82% in the range, target range, of between 70 and 180 to 188 in the range of 45%. And she says, which is not at goal. And she goes in to say, it is unethical to ask him to continue treatment with Trulicity. He suffers from peripheral neuropathy, which causes increased pain while glucose is high. I urge you to consider approval of Mount Jaro since it worked well for him in the past and he has tried and failed both formulary alternatives. Please give this your prompt attention and contact me with any uh, if you require any additional information. So my, my reason for this video tonight is not to ramble on about my past and what I've done with diabetes. My whole point of this video is that if you find yourself in a situation as I am, where your insurance does not want to cover Manjaro, and they want you to fail on Ozempic or Trulicity, no, I don't know why I thought this, but know that you don't have to go weeks and months taking this medication. If you automatically see as soon as possible that your blood sugars are out of control and they're going high, get with your doctor, get with your endocrinologist and let them know. What really helps, and I'm telling you right now, I've talked a lot of negativity about this for good reasons, but my Freestyle Libra has really come in helpful for once with this situation because my endocrinologist has been able to read my readings and see that it is legit what I'm saying. My blood sugars are going up and they're not coming down. Yeah, they come down. Uh, to some degree, but nothing like Manjaro. And guys, you know that your blood sugar should never go over. I don't know. It should never be in the 300s. I know that. It shouldn't even be over 200. But I know sometimes it happens. But what I'm saying is I'm so thankful that my doctor sent an email, a fax rather, to the insurance company. So if you are in the same boat, get your doctor to send a, a, a letter going against the denial and sharing that you need Manjaro because if it's working for you, you shouldn't be taken off of it. I'm a big, I'm a big guy, uh, big advocator. Or I'm a big, I don't know what the word to say. Uh, I am big on the fact that if something's not broken, don't fix it. If things are working great, don't change it. There's no reason to. The only reason they do that is because of this. They don't care about your health. They care about this. And who cares about you is people like us on YouTube that's trying to tell you what you need to do. You need to get a hold of your doctor. You need to have them write that letter and say, I'm the doctor. This is what I think needs to happen. And it is unethical for you to be putting my patient on a medication that's going to fail. Because... They might put you on a medication to fail, but what happens in a month when you've already caused so much damage to your nerves, you know, like the, the nerve, uh, nerve damage when it comes to neuropathy, that type of stuff. What happens with that? You know, what about the organ, you know, damage that it causes? So anyways, guys, so thankful that you joined me tonight. I appreciate it. If you want me to do more live streams where I do Q and A's, if you have questions for me, uh, want to chat, just have a good time on the live chat let uh just drop a comment below guys let me know and uh you guys have a great week and i'll catch you guys on the next video see ya